Hello, Randall Monk and Ron of Zane here with a gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. You can see that we do more of the more of these uh, each time. So uh, uh, this is our third one for the for this for this series, and uh, we're on a roll. So let's see what we got this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's about the root chakra and three spheres within that chakra. The root chakra, otherwise known as the first chakra is located at the base of the spine and stored within this chakra is what's called the kundalini in the ancient teachings teachings and that's a sphere of light that contains three small spheres of light the first sphere contains a reserve store of adamantine particles of light which will become activated and slowly move up through the chakra system when you have balanced and harmonized the first three lower chakras. The front and back portals of the sacred heart chakra will gradually open after you have balanced at least 51% of your negative energy and begin to radiate even 1% positive energy. Your sacred heart center will open and you will gain the ability to activate the adamantine particles, which are unprogrammed creator light, stored within the root chakra. You will also gain access to the memory seed atoms of wisdom stored within your sacred mind. You see how you weren't just sent out there and then forgotten. You see how we have programmed within us everything we need. Mm -hmm. The pathway from our God seed atom is very, it's very definite, it's there. It's not something nebulous because we're connected to the omniverse. And every time you separated, you left an etheric replica within a pyramid, on just like you have in the fifth dimension. And so then it comes down to the body. And so we, when we were chosen to come for this lifetime, it was a special dispensation. In the past, in the third and fourth dimension, each lifetime you were given a divine blueprint, which you helped to choose to a degree. And then you were given the energy, the frequencies, the memory seed atoms to assist that. There were memory seed atoms stored within the root chakra, just like they talked about, but those were always in reserve. And so most, all, all through the ages, all, all we could access, because we didn't, get that rod of power open and and do what was just said we need to do in order to access that. All we brought was what we had within our soul star that kept, would come down in different stages. I've talked about this before. There's a soul, there's a soul activation that wants to happen when you're around seven. And that one happens automatically. And then another one around puberty, around 14. And like every seven years, or give or take, until there are seven, there are seven of those soul star memory seed atoms that for that lifetime. And that's where your divine blueprint is for that lifetime. And that needs to be integrated over your lifetime. The sooner that you activate, balance and harmonize, and activate the heart chakra, that is the trigger for the root chakra energy to begin. That is what they talk about over the opening the seven seals, even in the Bible, opening the seals, opening the seven seals. Because each time you balance and harmonize one of the with that chakra, that, that energy, that kundalini energy begins to force its way upward. And within that, each time is more memory seed atoms, which activates this the attributes, qualities, and virtues that you're getting from your soul star, from your soul self. This is your whole, the, this is the entirety of your soul self for that particular lifetime. Many people never get past the first couple, two or three parts. Isn't that a travesty? So you see, it's all there. And once you understand it, it's so simple. And once you understand it, you want it because you know it works and you know it's there. It's worth everything that you go through, believe me. And when you get more of that divine will and power and you get more of that compassion 
and you get more of the wisdom and understanding, it's easier to see from a higher vantage point, so it's easier to move through. The worst ones are those three lower chakras when the ego is so strong and those addictions and those, those thought forms that are so strong, you're battling them. You don't battle them, you only make the resistance makes them stronger. You love them free. The love light of God is what dissolves everything. And so once you understand that, it gets easier. So what's next? Oh, I want to mention something about that. You know, sometimes this like, seems overwhelming, you know, this, all this ascension talk and all these things we have to do. But uh, as it said uh, in that quote I read, all we have to do is balance 51% of our negative energy, 51% and radiate 1% positive energy. And that's really quite simple. It's just being compassionate, being kind, being loving, things of that nature, being forgiving, those types of things. It's, it's really quite simple. Not easy if you're not used to it, but the more we practice, the easier it becomes. And seeing the best in everyone is still yeah, the worst. Yes, exactly. Ego, ego and situation, right. yeah. and situation, circumstances, seeing the best. Because everything that happens to us, there's a lesson there. And there's a blessing in that lesson. We just have to find it. And, and uh, yeah, it'll keep visiting us until we do find it, by yeah, the way. And, and yeah. taking responsibility instead of blaming it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah too. That, that too. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, moving on to the next one now. <clears throat> the second sphere contains the memory seed atoms for the new divine blueprint, for your new divine blueprint, for the new Aquarian age which will gradually activate as you raise your vibrational energy patterns into the last two higher frequency sublevels of the fourth dimension. The memory seed atoms from the facets of your higher self and the adamantine particles from the first sphere will speed up the process of activating the components within your divine blueprint. When that happens, you are well on your way to completing your journey through the final levels of the fourth dimension. So a quick review, in those three lower chakras, that is the energy, that's what you experience. You send that energy out and it connects, that's what creates your reality. You're sending that energy at that level out and it connects with like energy and those are, that's your picture, that's your world, and that's what comes to you, the people to reflect what it is you need to understand. But when you balance that heart chakra and you get most of that done, then you move into the higher frequencies here. And once you open, like I'd say that 51%, then you're well on your way to opening those higher frequencies and moving into or integrating most of, see it speeds up integrating what was already within your soul star. And so once you have done that, and that's, that's up to you how fast, you know, fast track. It's up to you how long it takes for you to do that. But as you balance those different, and each dimensional, sub-dimensional level has its own frequencies, its own test, and you have different facets of yourself out there in each one of those levels. So when you get to that point, what happens is at that mid fourth dimensional level, it is no longer just those that you've created down here yourself. That's what we talk about your soul song. That is your connection. That ribbon of light, that Antikorana, that rainbow bridge, that you connect to the rainbow bridge in the Antikorana, that begins to go out to those other facets of yourself that are also on the path. And it triggers a memory seed atom in each particular one. And Michael said, you do not have to experience, you have experienced all of, most all of the important facets within this of universe, but you do not, you have not experienced them individually as you, but the other facets of yourself have the wisdom. And then we're not, we're not talking about the negative, we're talking about the good stuff, all the attributes, qualities, and virtues. And so you connect with them. You send to them the gifts that you have for them in memory seed atoms, into you, that's your soul star, and they send your theirs to you. Isn't that wonderful? And that continues as you go through each of those sub-levels. 
you keep connecting more and more. And that's what the unity ascension becomes. You're gradually drawing closer together and you're gradually going to, when you get up to that highest fourth level, you're going to all be back in one hologram and you're going to all be unified. And that's when the causal body is no longer needed because as a greater son, as you in of our Father and Mother God, you're ready then to merge into your entry level sacred triad. That's the ascension process. Okay, there's also a third sphere which contains the remaining major negative memory seed atoms from your ancient past. These memory seed atoms must be cleared and returned to neutral as you are striving to integrate the remaining higher fourth dimensional levels of the sixth and seventh sub-levels sub sub -levels of the fourth <laughs> dimension. Oh, and so um, here we are. We're going along, we're, we feel in control, we're flying and, and, and things are going along much smoother than they were, we're feeling good, we're beginning to understand, things are falling into place, the miracles are happening. And so, and, and most of what we've been told is coming true and some still some challenges, but then all of a sudden, and it's mostly very personal that you, we have balanced and harmonized most of the negative things out in our world and everything is with our hologram is changing and refining so you're now in a much more refined hologram that does not include maybe a lot of your birth family and a lot of other people so your world is much different because you are in a higher frequency hologram and only those people who in your world who resonate within that are in that hologram with you so then at this point what is happening to you is most very personal. The few, the few remaining things that are in your life with other people, there usually aren't very many, and it's usually maybe family or very close, close to, uh, um, acquaintances, or everyday things, little things that come along. But it's mostly within your physical body. You have, and you have to understand that that energy is seeking out within us in every corner, in every facet, muscle tissues, bones, glands, blood, everything is being flooded with light. And so the aches and pains and the different weird things, Randy and I, we've, we've gone through bouts of diarrhea, we've gone through bouts of, <laughs> uh, and, uh, well, it's, you know, Okay, happen. that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, like with, with sugar, I cannot, I, I, I can eat some lightly sweetened things, but sugar gives me really bad heartburn immediately, so I stay away from it. But, that, and those are just personal things, but there are other things, and you're saying, why? That's because those are those last residual things. And so here again, you're not being punished. Don't despair. Know that it's part of the process. That the auric field was perfect, remember? And the negativity started out here and gradually infiltrated into the physical vessel. This time it's starting within the core of us and going outward. And so everything that is not in attunement, as the energies get stronger and they, the, your new divine blueprint is speeding up and you're, you're getting it this way, you see, we're getting the humanity's divine blueprint from the archangels is being sent down that column of light. We are getting our personal divine blueprint from that memory seed atom within our Kundalini. That is our personal divine blueprint for the coming age. So we're getting both. Most of humanity is not even getting, if they haven't cleared that energy to a degree, they're not even getting the divine blueprint at all. That's why they feel, like I say, I like to say a ship without a rudder. They don't know what to do. They're frightened. They're, nothing's working. Everything's chaotic. They, it's like they've been cut off and in a way they have. But it's up to them to plug in again. That's where our free will comes in. But there are dispensations, as Michael said. We have now, there is no longer total free will because you're destroying yourself and you're destroying the earth. 
And that's why they're not letting humanity sink any deeper. And that's why, I'm sorry, the cataclysm, it's the truth. The cataclysms are speeding up. All these things with humanity, it's wake up. Wake up, listen, listen. And so it is such trying times, but the way is open and the way is available. And your task, my darling, is to share. You, everyone is a teacher. Everyone can be an example. Everyone can pass on. There are always people following behind you. No matter where you are, there are people that are waiting for you to be an example, to show them love, to show them compassion, mm -hmm. to show them a higher way. We are passing our love, our information, our wisdom, and our light to you. You've got to pass it on too. We're counting on you. Just a reminder, we only need to balance 51% and uh, then radiate positive energy, 1%. Of course, more is better, but 1% one <laughs> 1% is all that's really yeah. needed to make a big difference. And when those, the, those negative memory seed atoms float to the surface because we've done our work and we're radiating that 1% or, or more, then it's so, so much easier to deal with those because we understand that it's a, it's a blessing, that there's a, there's a reason that's coming to the surface to be transmuted and so that we can move on with life and we won't be faced with that again. That's all for this one. We love you. Much love, many blessings from our hearts to yours. Shine on. There's lots more to come. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye for now.